Hello and welcome. This is Mel Skinner, and we're back with some more The Pillars of the Earth. We left the last video off with a decision where we have to choose between two paths. We're currently following the trail of Francis, Philip's brother from the previous chapter, and Jack, the character we're playing as, lost the trail more or less at this river and said that it'd pretty much be a guess on which way they went, either to cross the river or to follow the river. Now, me, I'm going to make the guess that they follow the river as Francis has a baby in tow, and I think that that is probably the easier path to follow the river rather than to cross it. Also, it's possible that this dashed line here is important, so let's go ahead and try that. I don't know if it's correct or not. We'll find out. The stream led us to a more convenient crossing. Here, one could easily pass without getting drenched in icy water. Suddenly, the boy called out. He had spotted something on the other bank. A set of fresh hoof prints. He laughed triumphantly as our eyes locked. All right, so it looks like uh, my assumption was correct. And that's exactly what I was thinking, that Francis with a baby would wait to, for a better crossing and that uh, seemingly is exactly what he did. Okay, say nothing or admit his success. But we want to get him on his our, on. We want to get on his side. He's kind of not, and he's really not liking us too much. So we'll admit his success. So we crossed the river. The boy cheerfully mocking my skills as a tracker. All right, let's continue. Now, honestly, I think the dash line really gave away which way to go, but keep on walking. What is it? He got us lost. Did you? Papa, I'm tired. That's all right. Come on, up on my shoulders you go. No, I'm too heavy and you're too tired anyway. I will remain steadfast. You should all get some rest. Alfred, stay here with them while I take a look ahead. No, don't go. I won't be far, dear. Besides, you can do me a favor while I'm gone. Have an eye on the lads and make sure they get some sleep, all right? All right. See? You are steadfast. I won't be long. Right, I'm assuming we're going to still be Jack here. You stay where I can see you while my sister rests. And no tricks. All right, we need to get our book back. All right, first, before we do that, we've got him. We've got something up here. We've got the book. Okay. All right, it's letting me move now. I mean, we can just clonk him with a slingshot and kill him. That doesn't seem like the right course of action. Okay. Okay. Hmm. I'm assuming just walking up to it is a bad idea. Do we want to do something with the snow, perhaps? Like I could do this to the snow. I mean, that would fall on him. <laughs> it would wake him up, though. I don't. I don't think that's what we want. It's something we could do. Hmm. Let's try and just get the book. Ah, I failed. Okay, we got it, I guess. 
Then I will know it by heart. He deserves a worthier enemy. Oh. He deserves a worthier enemy. Huh? What is it? Did, did you hear something? Fog is lifting. A lie. The fog is lifting. I don't like you. Tell me, why do you care about your book so much? Wait, wh wh where is it? You sneaky thief. I knew it. You just want to rob us. You took it first. You're an animal. You don't even know what it is. Okay, the Lord and King of all France, Charles the Great. The Lord and King of all France, Charles the Great has spent seven long years fighting in Spain. He has conquered the highlands and the plain. Before him, not a single fort remains. What are you rambling on about? It's from the book. How do you know this? You're an animal. All right, um... Hmm. Can't you read? Can't you read? Hey, you see that? Over there in the fog, there is something there. All right. What is it? A deer. It broke through the ice and died. Children. Martha, wake up, dear. Who's she? We met in the forest. I'm Jack's mother. Come here, Jack. Did you find him? Yes, dear, we did. The baby is safe. The monk brought it to a small cell not far from here. But we won't go there now. Ellen offered us shelter for tonight. I have. Follow me. Now, I know I could have hit the snow and made it fall on him, but I don't think that was right to do. I've known you lived this close. Well, Agnes might have been safe. Don't fool yourself. When a woman is bleeding inside, it either stops or it doesn't. All you can do is keep her warm. And you did that. I'm sorry, but the living must take care of the living. Jack, give the children some soup, will you? Will you be able to get work soon? Uh, hard to say. All right, we'll give it to Alfred first. A new master builder in winter. Too cold for stirring water. Sometimes you get lucky, but not this year. Some time ago, I had work in Exeter. They offered me the post of builder for the Castellan to keep the walls and defenses in shape. They would have kept me busy for the rest of my life. We would have lived like bishops. What happened? I refused. All I cared about was working on a cathedral again. I was a fool. <laughs> you can do better than to build churches. Well, I worked on one once. That was good work. I won't Thank you, Jack. Now, but if you ask Martha, she'll tell you everything about it. You know, a man like you should not beat himself so hard. No. No, there is no excuse for leaving my baby son behind. Women die in labor. Men abandon their children all the time. It is rare that they return. Is that what happened to you and your son? No. That is an altogether different story. One I haven't even told Jack yet. All I can say is, I raised him alone in this cave, outside of town law. Just us and the forest. How do you get by? We hunt, 
We gather. It works well enough for us, too, to survive. You can thank Jack for the meal, by the way. My little cub caught his first deer today, all by himself. I'm impressed. Eat well, children. You'll need your strength. And so do you, Master Builder. Go on, tuck in. I will. Thank you. Well, they're asleep now. So, what is it? I told you that the monk had taken the baby to a small cell nearby. It's true, but I advise you to stay away from there. What? Why? Because you abandoned it. That counts as murder. Then... then I have to steal him. I have to own up to what I've done. I have to take back my son. Think for a moment. You have been out of work since summer. A baby needs a lot of care. More than your other children. How will you feed him? But what am I to do then? Live like you? I don't know a thing about hunting. I'm a mason. Even in a castle I'm more at home than here. Leave the baby with the monks. He'd be warm and fed. You wouldn't have to carry him while you look for work. And when you do find something, you can come back and fetch him. I... I, I don't know. Since Agnes died, I don't know anything anymore. You're a good man, Tom Builder. You're kind and gentle and strong. You will do the right thing. You also don't have to go through this alone, you know. Jack and I will have to leave this place soon. The winter is too cruel and we might not survive if we stayed. We could all travel together. I don't know. I have my hands full with my children already. I can help you take care of them. If you promise to teach my son how to get along in the world of men. We may be strangers now, but we would be at each other's side, helping out however we can. The living must take care of the living. Yes. All right. Um, I'm going to t see a castle. We'll say that. Now, before I choose this, I don't have a time limit. I have my suspicions. So, the information we got in the last chapter said that Empress Maud and Henry II or who would be Henry II, uh, are in hiding, if I remember correctly, and Stephen has taken over the throne. Is this Henry? Just my suspicion. He's, he's called Jack, and we kind of got that, but and that was the only name he knew, but I don't think he really is Jack. All right, well, in any case, I'm going to see a castle. That night, I dreamed of a strange world. There were small castles, dead deer, and a giant called Tom. In that dream, I was happy. I tightly held my mother's hand, watching the kind giant and learning his mysterious ways. All right, so I don't know how well I did on this one. Let's see. You caught a deer and cured it for dinner. You ran into Tom Builder and his family. You gave Alfred soup first. Alfred tolerated you. You're looking forward to leaving finally leaving the forest. Now, I don't know if I should have given Alfred the soup first. Honestly, I, I probably should have given it to Martha, but I, I just wanted to continue to, because he was hostile towards me, I wanted to continue to put him at ease, and that's why I chose the path I did. And I, I think I'm overall pretty happy with this. So let's, let's continue. That was a fairly short chapter, comparatively. Uh oh, the conspiracy. Okay, the palace of the bishop. Ah. Uh. <clears throat> okay. Well, I do regret a little bit having this be Philip's task. So, my I brother is as stubborn as you are sometimes. But I trust him. The bishop has to see this letter. Okay, so I'm glad, though, that we get to choose 
what we do here because that was the one thing that I was really thinking about with the choice of going along with this okay, he's saying that for pretty much everything whoever is righteous has regard for the life of his beast go thy way eat thy bread with joy and drink thy wine with a merry heart for God now accepteth thy works how we approach this is going to be crucial the Lord will give me strength to help my church today. The Lord is the stronghold of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? Okay. So. What we want to do, in my opinion, is remain as neutral as we possibly can. All right. So I don't know which of these buildings is the correct one. We'll just start with the palace. Who am I to approach the bishop at dusk like a thief? <clears throat> All right. If I can face our Lord, then why would I be afraid to face my bishop? I'm not sure if the palace was the right course or not. But I clicked on this door over here and it looks like he's going. Maybe I should have clicked on the apples first, huh? <clears throat> oh, why must I be so nervous? I trust Francis. He knows about these things. I don't know if I trust him, but oh well. <laughs> How can I help you? I've come to see the bishop. I have come to see the bishop. Who may I tell the bishop is visiting? Uh, I am Philip of Gwynedd. Uh, I think that's probably best. I am Philip of Gwynedd. <coughs> and what may I tell Bishop Whalerin is the reason for your visit? The bishop insists that I ask. Okay, um... Will be open? I carry a letter that proves there will be a war. A war? Yes, but the bishop may be able to stop it. It is urgent, then. I will let the bishop know that you are here. Please, uh... Wait here a short while. Okay, so that might have been telling him more than I should have, but I don't know if that's the way I would have wanted to approach it, to be honest with you, but we'll see. My pony needs to be fed soon. Should I take some? Um, take the apple. I will take just a couple. Maybe we can use it now. There you go. You're still hungry, aren't you? Okay. What about this building here? Why would the bishop see me? St. John's Chapel is smaller than this side building. Okay. If I can face our Lord, then why would I be afraid to face my bishop? Seems like we get the same kind of responses here. Hello? Ah, there we go. Yes? The bishop will see you now. So we don't know what the political leaning of the bishop is, so this is a very risky thing we're doing. Philip of Gwyneth. The right reverend bishop whaler in bygone. Please, sit down. <clears throat> Thank you, right reverend. We're going to do our best, best to just give the information 
that we have and let him make his own decision. Call me Waylaren. I hear you've done good work at that little cell in the forest. I'm surprised you know about it. <coughs> As bishop, I am the ex officio abbot of Kingsbridge. So, <laughs> I am bound to take an interest. Well, God has blessed us in St. John. I wish God would confer similar blessings on Kingsbridge Priory. Timothy said you were talking about a... a war. Okay. Um. Oh, Bartholomew of Shiring. Do you know him well? <coughs> As bishop, I am much involved in politics. Though, of course, the church can never be involved enough. Hmm. Bartholomew is a stubborn man. He is opposed to any suggestions from me, and I am his bishop. I heard the same about the Earl of Gloucester. How do you know of this? Ah, your brother Francis is working for Earl Robert of Gloucester, is he not? Did he tell you? Um, let's tell the truth. <coughs> Excuse me. Yes, Francis mentioned this to me. He is indeed working for the Earl of Gloucester. You mentioned a war. Tell me, Philip, why are you here? Oh. Was I wrong to come to you, my bishop? Maybe I should have taken the letter to the Sheriff of Shiring. Eustace is ungodly, arrogant, grasping, and corrupt. So are all sheriffs. Philip, how did you get this letter? All right, we'll tell him. Um, we'll, we'll not mention Francis. I found it among Prior James's documents in Kingsbridge. I am staying there for a few days. Prior James. May he rest in peace. Did he not order everything to be burned? You know about this? Sub-Prior Remedius mentioned it once. I asked them not to burn James's books. The brothers agreed. Well, and there you found the letter? Yes. Timothy, leave us. And did you find anything else? No, just the letter. The messenger carrying it had an accident and died near Kingsbridge. Hmm. And your brother Francis told you about it? N no. Philip? You already told me you have talked with him about this. From the letter I see, the messenger was employed by your brother's master. That is why it is understandable that you would want to protect him. But there is no need to lie to me. <sighs> A war would cost so, so many lives. God thunders wondrously with his voice. He does great things that we cannot comprehend. The book of Job. But this is not the work of God, but of Earl Bartholomew. <laughs> you are truly the man I have heard so much about. I will call on friends of mine. Pray for us that we can put an end to Bartholomew's plan before it is too late. You did a brave thing for our church, Brother Philip. A brave thing indeed. <sighs> You'll go back to Kingsbridge Priory now and forget about the Sheriff, won't you? I will. And uh, don't speak of this to anyone there. I shan't.
All right, I don't know what to think of that one. It seems to, that he understood the situation fairly well. Although we did try and conceal our brother a little bit there, it uh, I don't think it worked necessarily. In any case, I'm going to go ahead and wrap up the video here. I hope you guys have enjoyed. This is Mouse Gunner, signing out.